Hey, so I'm at 9446 Parker Place Court, or Drive, I mean. So here's the house, it's really cute. It is on a corner. Alright, so let's go in. Actually, here's your side yard. The gate. I do have a sprinkler system. And then some cute little landscaping. Bay window. Okay. So here's the flooring. It's like a nice cherry color. There you go. That's the color. So when you first come in, you've got your AC, and it is a 97, so it's the same age as the house. Um, then if you make a hard right, you've got your laundry room. It is a little tight, but I will say that you could put like a barn, like a sliding door here. You can see here's the front door. You could do like a sliding door here, or just leave it open. Um, but you get a nice little closet in here, which is kind of awesome. So here you go. And it's laminate flooring in here. And then your garage is painted. <laughs> and this guy is an OC. Six or 010. So it has been replaced. Pipes look good too, so that should be fine. I bet you it's a 10. And it was a rental for a while. There's a pegboard right there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so front door and you come in and you can either go to the right to the kids' bedrooms. That door is your master bedroom and then the backyard. Here's your living space. You've got a formal dining area here if you want it. And then if you come all the way around, so let me back up so I can show you. You've got your kitchen, so you've got front door and make a u-turn into the kitchen so it's pretty basic but it's in good shape so here's that bay window and they've got a funky light going on here there's not a lot of space here but you could easily put a four-person table here I'm trying to see if I can get you to so there's from the island to the wall. We've got a lot of upper cabinets. We've got a little island here. And it is, there you go. So you can see it's pretty spacious. And the island has power. And then here's your pantry. Fridge. So you could even put shelves and stuff up above it if you wanted to. Here's your, like a farmhouse sink, but it's black. So the space is really big. All right, so let's go into the kids' wing. And it is split floor plan, which you guys wanted. So here's the kids' bed bathroom. Pretty basic, but it's clean. It is laminate flooring with vinyl, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like they've updated the outlets, so that's good. 
Here's a little coat closet. And then we've got two bedrooms that are pretty much the same size. So this is going to be your side bedroom. The carpet's not in too bad. There's a, there's a stain there, but the carpet's not actually in too bad a shape. Got a little chair, chair rail going around. I don't see any stains or anything on the ceiling, so that's good. Just some bad paint jobs over the years. And this window is behind the fence line. And then you've got a little organizer here. And then the other bedroom. Again, there's a little stain over there, but this one is also behind the fence line. There's a little bit of condensation here, but that could just be a seal. And this fan has been updated. And then you've got a normal closet organizer there. There you go. And they have it set at 80, just so you know. Um, and it's not hot in here, but that's why the air conditioner is running. So here's your master bedroom. Pretty spacious. Carpet looks okay. And again, I don't see any staining or anything on the ceiling. Here's your bathroom. So they're putting a lot in here. So you've got your toilet, it does have a door, you've got your tub, and again it's clean. Your sinks, got a little medicine cabinet, some lights. Linen closet and a pretty spacious master closet. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go in the back. Um. Well, I took it on the wrong side, but that's all right. All right, so we've got decking and a pergola over top, over part of it. Got some bird poo on the side. That's pretty sweet. Comes with the house. So both of the fences go pretty far up front. Big, huge bush tree thing going on. So you could easily put a pool back here, especially if you took out that mammoth tree. The house needs to be power washed, but it looks pretty good. We've got a pretty little bush here. All right. So yeah, this is circa 1997. Got a little beehive going on too. Wasp nest. Got a shed, and that should be an easement right there. It is. So we're back behind this fence. You're not gonna have anything. You're gonna have like that 10 foot or so gap between you and the neighbor behind you. So 
got some wood rot going on there. You could also just take those out completely if you wanted to. 